Hello, in this video I will try to show you how um, easy PVC plugin works and how we can get the elastic properties out of an RVE using it. So first of all we need to create a part or the RVE. I'll start by creating the outside sections of the uh, RVE I'll give it a thickness of 1 so cut uh, 1 by 1 by 1 that's the uh, that's the first phase of the RVE in my project I usually need to uh, model a fiber here or uh, some other fibers on the corners so it um, depends on your use you can uh, choose any uh, um, any section you can create any sections you want on the RVE so I'll do um, a fiber here I'll make it in the center so that's the section of a fiber and again I should extend it in the same uh, width of the RVE and I need to make sure that I keep the internal boundaries as you can see here Okay, so the part is done, and uh, now I need to put the materials, uh, properties, and their sections. So I'll start by the materials. The first material is going to be a fiber. I already have the properties, you can use your own of course. And second material. I'll do the matrix again that's something you you can uh, you can change you can select any material you want and uh, now I need to create sections that's the fiber section and that's the matrix uh, section and I need to assign the sections now so first section is let's say the matrix second one is the fiber to make sure that the sections have been assigned correctly let's just have a look here yes they are assigned correctly so this step is done now I need to uh, create um, an assembly an, inst an instance so assembly and instance I just do need to select it hit apply here I have it and I have the instance here and the last thing I need to do is a mesh meshing is, um, is very important because you need to have um, the mapping or the, the mesh uh, to be identical on um, any opposite side so to do so for this case I need to uh, I need to select a specific technique so so uh, I need to use a hex dominated uh, element shape and I need to use a sweep technique and uh, let's mesh it so uh, let's seed it so I'll give it a 0 0.1 default and seed it so as you can see we have the seed uh, the mesh uh, is done just to make sure that the mesh is identical I'll uh, do this uh, little check so you can uh, see so as you can see if I zoom in there are no double lines or anything so that means the uh, the meshing is uh, the mapping is uh, identical on both sides so if you have a look here see so all look uh, looks so fine now it just make sure I've clicked it just double check Okay, now now I can go to the plugin and just hit um, Easy Properties Calculator, Easy PVC, and I need to put input couple of things here. First thing is the model name, which is the same. I don't need to change anything in that. Second thing is the uh, instance name. So that's my instance name. So I just need to add a little bit to it here. And for the mapping uh, accuracy, you don't need to change it. As I've showed you the 
the meshing is fine here so we don't need to change that if your mesh is not identical you can change that value a little bit but I don't recommend that so just make sure your mesh is identical on both sides for this video I'll just try to run two properties instead of all so let's just get E11 and G1, G23 and see how it works so I'll hit OK and let's wait for it the, the first thing the, the plugin is gonna do is it's gonna create the sets necessary to uh, to apply the periodic boundary conditions and do the calculations so as you can see here sets have been created and now jobs are being created and submitted afterwards the, the, the software is going to uh, uh, calculate the properties for us so let's just wait for that it's not gonna take long because our mesh is not very uh, is not very fine so let's just wait for it The first job is done, which is uh, E11. Okay, so both jobs are done and uh, the, the plugin did find the properties for us. So as you can see here, E11 is this and with E11 we got V12 and V13 with the same job. We don't need to submit a different job for these. Um, for G23, uh, here we have the property. And we can get um, a mass which is going to be adjusted to density in this case because we did not put any density um, properties so we haven't got anything uh, we have processing time and the properties are also saved in a, in a text file in your directory so that's how it works I'll, um, I'll just show you how the, um, the jobs uh, look like here so if we go to E11 just need to do that twice and the deformed shape is um, something like this okay as you can see here that's E11 let's see what uh, G23 looks like again need to do that twice and that's what it looks like. It just reduce that to 0.5. Okay, so it's uh, something like that. So as you can see, the sides remain periodic, and that's what you need. Thank you for watching this video and um, in the next video we will I will show you how you would put the plugin to work and uh, where you can get the plugin from as well. Thanks a lot.